A Sikh Punjabi, Sikha Sikh Skok, is a person associated with Sikhism, a monotheistic religion that originated in the 15th century, in the Punjab region of the Indian subcontinent, based on the revelation of Guru Nanak. The term, Sikh, has its origin in the Sanskrit word sisya, sisya meaning a disciple, or a student. A Sikh, according to Article 1 of the Sikh Rehat Mariyada, the Sikh Code of Conduct, is any human being who faithfully believes in one immortal being, ten gurus, from Guru Nanak to Guru Gobind Singh, Guru Granth Sahib, the teachings of the ten gurus and the baptism bequeathed by the tenth guru." The Punjab region of the Indian subcontinent has been the historic homeland of the Sikhs, and was ruled by the Sikhs for significant parts of the 18th and 19th centuries. Today, the Punjab state in northwest India has a majority Sikh population, and sizable communities of Sikhs exist around the world. Many countries, such as the United Kingdom, recognize Sikhs as a designated religion on their censuses. The American non-profit organization United Sikhs has sought to have Sikh included on the U.S. census as a ethnicity, arguing that Sikhs self-identify as an ethnic minority and believe that they are more than just a religion. Male Sikhs generally have Singh Lion as their middle or last name not all Singhs are Sikhs, and female Sikhs have Kaur Princess as their middle or last name. Sikhs who have undergone the Khande Ki Pahul the Sikh initiation ceremony may also be recognized by the five kilo seconds, Kesh, uncut hair which is kept covered, usually by a turban, Kara, an iron or steel bracelet, Kirpan, a sword tucked into a Ghatra strap or a Kamal Kasar belt, Kachara, a cotton undergarment, and Kanga, a small wooden comb. Initiated male and female Sikhs must cover their hair with a turban. History. Guru Nanak (1469–1539), founder of Sikhism, was born to Mehta Kalu and Mata Tripta in the village of Talwandi, now called Nankana Sahib, near Lahore. Guru Nanak was a religious leader and social reformer. However, Sikh political history may be said to begin with the death of the fifth Sikh Guru, Guru Aryan Dev, in 1606. Religious practices were formalized by Guru Gobind Singh on the 30th of March 1699. Gobind Singh initiated five people from a variety of social backgrounds, known as the Panj Piyari the five beloved ones, to form the Khalsa, or collective body of initiated Sikhs. During the period of Mughal rule in India 1556 several Sikh gurus were killed by the Mughals for opposing their persecution of minority religious communities including Sikhs. Sikhs subsequently militarized to oppose Mughal rule. After defeating the Afghan and Mughal, sovereign states called missiles were formed, under Jasa Singh Ahluwalia. The Confederacy was unified and transformed into the Sikh Empire under Maharaja Ranjit Singh Bahadur, which was characterized by religious tolerance and pluralism, with Christians, Muslims and Hindus in positions of power. The empire is considered the zenith of political Sikhism, encompassing Kashmir, Ladakh and Peshawar. Hari Singh Nalwa, the commander-in-chief of the Sikh Khalsa Army in the northwest frontier, expanded the Confederacy to the Khyber Pass. Its secular administration implemented military, economic and governmental reforms. After the annexation of the Sikh kingdom by the British, the latter recognized the martial qualities of the Sikhs and Punjabis in general and started recruiting from that area. During the 1857 Indian Mutiny, the Sikhs stayed loyal to the British. This resulted in heavy recruiting from Punjab to the colonial army for the next 90 years of the British Raj. The distinct turban that differentiates a Sikh from other turban wearers is a relic of the rules of the British Indian Army. The British colonial rule saw the emergence of many reform movements in India including Punjab. This included formation in 1873 and 1879 of the first and second Singh Sabha respectively. The Sikh leaders of the Singh Sabha worked to offer a clear definition of Sikh identity and tried to purify Sikh belief and practice. The later part of British colonial rule saw the emergence of the Akali movement to bring reform in the Gurdwaras during the early 1920s. The movement led to the introduction of Sikh Gurdwara Bill in 1925, which placed all the historical Sikh shrines in India under the control of Shiromani Gurdwara Parbandak Committee (SGPC). The months leading up to the partition of India in 1947 were marked by conflict in the Punjab between Sikhs and Muslims. 
This caused the religious migration of Punjabi Sikhs and Hindus from West Punjab, mirroring a similar religious migration of Punjabi Muslims from East Punjab. The 1960s saw growing animosity between Sikhs and Hindus in India, with the Sikhs demanding the creation of a Punjab state on a linguistic basis similar to other states in India. This was promised to Sikh leader Master Tara Singh by Jawaharlal Nehru, in return for Sikh political support during negotiations for Indian independence. Although the Sikhs obtained the Punjab, they lost Hindi-speaking areas to Himachal Pradesh, Haryana and Rajasthan. Chandigarh was made a union territory and the capital of Haryana and Punjab on 1 November 1966. Sikh leader Jarnail Singh Bindranwale triggered violence in the Punjab. The Prime Minister Indira Gandhi ordered an operation to remove Bindranwale from the Golden Temple in Operation Blue Star, this led to her assassination by her Sikh bodyguards. Gandhi's assassination resulted in an explosion of violence against Sikh communities and the killing of thousands of Sikhs throughout India. Since 1984, relations between Sikhs and Hindus have moved toward a rapprochement aided by economic prosperity. However, a 2002 claim by the Hindu right-wing Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sang RSS that Sikhs are Hindus disturbed Sikh sensibilities during the 1999 Vaisakhi. Sikhs worldwide celebrated the 300th anniversary of the creation of the Khalsa. Canada Post honored Sikh Canadians with a commemorative stamp in conjunction with the 300th anniversary of Vaisakhi. On April 9, 1999, Indian President K. R. Narayanan issued a stamp commemorating the 300th anniversary of the Khalsa. Culture and religious observations Daily routine From the Guru Granth Sahib one who calls himself a Sikh of the Guru, the true Guru, shall rise in the early morning hours and meditate on the Lord's name. Upon arising early in the morning, he is to bathe, and cleanse himself in the pool of nectar. Following the instructions of the Guru, he is to chant the name of the Lord, Har, Har. All sins, misdeeds and negativity shall be erased. Then, at the rising of the sun, he is to sing Gurbani, whether sitting down or standing up, he is to meditate on the Lord's name. One who meditates on my Lord, Har, Har, with every breath and every morsel of food, that Gursikh becomes pleasing to the Guru's mind. That person, unto whom my Lord and Master is kind and compassionate, upon that Gursikh, the Guru's teachings are bestowed. Servant Nanak begs for the dust of the feet of that Gursikh, who himself chants the Nam, and inspires others to chant it. 5 Ks The five kilo seconds panj kakar are five articles of faith which all baptized Sikhs, Amrithari Sikhs are obliged to wear. The symbols represent the ideals of Sikhism, honesty, equality, fidelity, meditating on Wahe Guru and never bowing to tyranny. The five symbols are Kesh, uncut hair, usually tied and wrapped in a daster Kanga, a wooden comb, usually worn under a daster Kachara, cotton undergarments, historically appropriate in battle due to increased mobility when compared to a dhoti. Worn by both sexes, the kachara is a symbol of chastity. Kara, an iron bracelet, a symbol of eternity. Kirpan, an iron dagger in different sizes. In the UK Sikhs can wear a small dagger, but in the Punjab they might wear a traditional curved sword from 1 to 3 feet in length. Topic. Music and instruments. The Sikhs have a number of musical instruments, the rabab, dolruba, taos, yori and sarinda. Playing the sarangi was encouraged by Guru Hargobind. The rabab was played by Bhai Mardana as he accompanied Guru Nanak on his journeys. The yori and sarinda were introduced to Sikh devotional music by Guru Aryan. The taos was designed by Guru Hargobind, who supposedly heard a peacock singing and wanted to create an instrument mimicking its sounds taos is the Persian word for peacock. The Dalruba was designed by Guru Gobind Singh at the request of his followers, who wanted a smaller instrument than the Taos. After Japji Sahib, all of the Shabad in the Guru Granth Sahib were composed as rags. This type of singing is known as Gurmat Sangeet. When they marched into battle, the Sikhs would play a Ranjit Nagara victory drum to boost morale. Nagaras usually two to three feet in diameter, although some were up to five feet in diameter are played with two sticks. 
The beat of the large drums, and the raising of the Nishan Sahib, meant that the Singhs were on their way. Demographics Numbering about 27 million worldwide, Sikhs make up 0.39% of the world population, approximately 83% live in India. About 76% of all Sikhs live in the North Indian state of Punjab, where they form a majority about two -thirds of the population. Substantial communities of Sikhs live in the Indian states or Union territories of Chandigarh where they form 13.11% of the population, Haryana more than 1.2 million, Rajasthan, West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Maharashtra, Uttarakhand, Madhya Pradesh, Assam and Jammu and Kashmir. Sikh migration from British India began in earnest during the second half of the 19th century, when the British completed their annexation of the Punjab. The British Raj recruited Sikhs for the Indian Civil Service particularly the British Indian Army, which led to Sikh migration throughout India and the British Empire. During the Raj, semi-skilled Sikh artisans were transported from the Punjab to British East Africa to help build railroads. Sikhs emigrated from India after World War II, most going to the United Kingdom but many to North America. Some Sikhs who had settled in Eastern Africa were expelled by Ugandan dictator Idi Amin in 1972. Economics is a major factor in Sikh migration, and significant communities exist in the United Kingdom, the United States, Malaysia, East Africa, Australia, Singapore and Thailand. Due to this, Canada is the country that has the highest number of Sikhs in proportion to the population in the world at 1.4% of Canada's total population. Although the rate of Sikh migration from the Punjab has remained high, traditional patterns of Sikh migration favoring English-speaking countries particularly the United Kingdom have changed during the past decade due to stricter immigration laws. Moliner 2006 wrote that as a consequence of Sikh migration to the UK, "...become ing virtually impossible since the late 1970s." Migration patterns evolved to continental Europe. Italy is a rapidly growing destination for Sikh migration, with Reggio Emilia and Vicenza having significant Sikh population clusters. Italian Sikhs are generally involved in agriculture, agricultural processing, the manufacture of machine tools and horticulture. Johnson and Barrett 2004 estimate that the global Sikh population increases annually by 392,633, 1.7% per year, based on 2004 figures. This percentage includes births, deaths and conversions. Primarily for socio-economic reasons, Indian Sikhs have the lowest adjusted growth rate of any major religious group in India, at 16.9% per decade estimated from 1991 to 2001. The Sikh population has the lowest gender balance in India, with only 903 women per 1,000 men according to the 2011 Indian census. Castes <coughs> <coughs> Guru Nanak in Sri Granth Sahib calls for treating everyone equally. Other Sikh gurus also denounced the hierarchy of the caste system. However they all came from just one caste, the Khatris. Despite that social stratification exists in the Sikh community. Over 60% of Sikhs belong to the Jat caste which is an agrarian caste, despite being very small in numbers, the mercantile Khatri and Aurora castes wield considerable influence within the Sikh community. Other common Sikh castes include Sainis Kshatriyas, Rajputs, Ramgariyas artisans, Aluwaliyas formerly brewers, Kamboys rural caste, Rai Sikh rural caste, Labanas merchants, Kumars and the two Dalit castes known in Sikh terminology as the Mazabis the Churas and the Ravidasiyas the Shamars. According to Surinder Singh Jodhka, the Sikh religion does not advocate discrimination against any caste or creed. However, in practice, Sikhs belonging to the landowning dominant castes have not shed all their prejudices against the Dalit castes. While Dalits would be allowed entry into the village Gurdwaras they would not be permitted to cook or serve langar communal meal. Therefore, wherever they could mobilize resources, the Sikh Dalits of Punjab have tried to construct their own Gurdwara and other local level institutions in order to attain a certain degree of cultural autonomy. In 1953, Sikh leader, Master Tara Singh, succeeded in persuading the Indian government to include Sikh castes of the converted untouchables in the list of scheduled castes. In the Shiromani Gurdwara Prabhandak Committee, 20 of the 140 seats are reserved for low-caste Sikhs. Occupation 
According to a 1994 estimate, Punjabis Sikhs and non -Sikhs comprised 10 to 15 percent of all ranks in the Indian Army, although the state contained less than 3 percent of the country's population. The Indian government does not release religious or ethnic origins of the military personnel, but a 1991 report by Tim McGurk estimated that 20 percent of Indian Army officers were Sikhs. Together with the Gurkhas recruited from Nepal, the Maratha Light Infantry from Maharashtra and the Jat Regiment, the Sikhs are one of the few communities to have exclusive regiments in the Indian Army. The Sikh Regiment is one of the most decorated regiments in the Army, with 73 battle honours, 14 Victoria Crosses, 21 First Class Indian Orders of Merit equivalent to the Victoria Cross, 15 Theatre Honours, 5 COAS Unit Citations, 2 Param Veer Chakras, 14 Maha Veer Chakras, 5 Kurdi Chakras, 67 Veer Chakras and 1,596 other awards. The highest ranking general in the history of the Indian Air Force is a Punjabi Sikh, Marshal of the Air Force Aryan Singh. Plans by the United Kingdom Ministry of Defence for a Sikh infantry regiment were scrapped in June 2007. Historically, most Indians have been farmers, and 66% of the Indian population are engaged in agriculture. Indian Sikhs are employed in agriculture to a lesser extent. India's 2001 census found 39% of the working population of the Punjab employed in this sector. The success of the 1960s Green Revolution, in which India went from famine to plenty, from humiliation to dignity, was based in the Punjab, which became known as the breadbasket of India. The Punjab is the wealthiest Indian state per capita, with the average Punjabi income three times the national average. The Green Revolution centered on Indian farmers adopting more intensive and mechanized agricultural methods, aided by the electrification of the Punjab, cooperative credit, consolidation of small holdings and the existing, British Raj-developed canal system. According to Swedish political scientist Ishtiak Ahmad, a factor in the success of the Indian Green Revolution was the Sikh cultivator, often the jot, whose courage, perseverance, spirit of enterprise and muscle prowess proved crucial. However, not all aspects of the Green Revolution were beneficial. Indian physicist Vandana Shiva wrote that the Green Revolution made the "...negative and destructive impacts of science i.e. the Green Revolution on nature and society," invisible, and was a catalyst for Punjabi Sikh and Hindu tensions despite a growth in material wealth. Punjabi Sikhs are engaged in a number of professions which include science, engineering and medicine. Notable examples are nuclear scientist Piara Singh Gill who worked on the Manhattan Project, fiber optics pioneer Narinder Singh Kapani and physicist, science writer and broadcaster Simon Singh. In business, the UK-based clothing retailers New Look and the Thai-based Jaspal were founded by Sikhs. India's largest pharmaceutical company, Ranbaxi Laboratories, is headed by Sikhs. UK Sikhs have the highest percentage of home ownership of any religious community. UK Sikhs are the second wealthiest after the Jewish community religious group in the UK, with a median total household wealth of £229,000. In Singapore Kartar Singh Thakral expanded his family's trading business, Thakral Holdings, into total assets of almost $1.4 billion and is Singapore's 25th richest person. Sikh Bob Singh Dillon is the first Indo-Canadian billionaire. The Sikh diaspora has been most successful in North America. Sikh intellectuals, sportsmen and artists include poet and Bollywood lyricist Rajkavi Inderjeet Singh Tulsi, writer Kushwant Singh, England cricketer Monty Panasar, former 400m runner Milka Singh, Indian wrestler and actor Dara Singh, former Indian hockey team captains Ahitpal Singh and Balbir Singh Sr., former Indian cricket captain Bishan Singh Bedi, Harbhajan Singh India's most successful off-spin cricket bowler, Navjot Singh Sidhu former Indian cricketer turned politician. Bollywood actresses include Neetu Singh, Simran Judge, Poonam Dhillon, Mahi Gill, Esha Deal, Parminder Nagra, Ghul Panig, Mona Singh, Namrata Singh Gujral and director Gurinder Chadha, Parminder Gill. Sikhs have migrated worldwide, with a variety of occupations. The Sikh gurus preached ethnic and social harmony, and Sikhs comprise a number of ethnic groups. 
Those with over 1,000 members include the Aluwalia, Arain, Aurora, Batra, Bairagi, Banya, Basith, Bawaria, Bazagar, Babra, Shamar, Chimba, Darzi, Dobi, Gujar, Jat, Jinwar, Kehar, Kalal, Kamboy, Khatri, Kumhar, Labana, Lohar, Matam, Mazabi, Mag, Marasi, Mochi, Mohyal, Nai, Rajput, Ramgaria, Saini, Sansi, Sudh, Tarkhan, Kashyap Rajput. An order of Punjabi Sikhs, the Nihong or the Akalis, was formed during Ranjit Singh's time. Under their leader, Akali Fula Singh, they won many battles for the Sikh Confederacy during the early 19th century. In the Indian and British armies Sikhs supported the British during the Indian Rebellion of 1857. By the beginning of World War I, Sikhs in the British Indian Army totaled over 100,000 20 percent of the force. Until 1945 14 Victoria Crosses were awarded to Sikhs, a per capita regimental record. In 2002 the names of all Sikh VC and George Cross recipients were inscribed on the monument of the Memorial Gates on Constitution Hill, next to Buckingham Palace. Chanan Singh Dillon was instrumental in campaigning for the memorial. During World War I, Sikh battalions fought in Egypt, Palestine, Mesopotamia, Gallipoli and France. Six battalions of the Sikh regiment were raised during World War II, serving in the Second Battle of El Alamein, the Burma and Italian campaigns and in Iraq and receiving 27 battle honours. Around the world, Sikhs are commemorated in Commonwealth cemeteries. In the last two world wars 83,005 turban-wearing Sikh soldiers were killed and 109,045 were wounded fighting for the British Empire. During shellfire, they had no other head protection but the turban, the symbol of their faith. British people are highly indebted and obliged to Sikhs for a long time. I know that within this century we needed their help twice in two world wars and they did help us very well. As a result of their timely help, we are today able to live with honor, dignity, and independence. In the war, they fought and died for us, wearing the turbans. Diaspora <inaudible> 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 During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Sikhs began to emigrate to East Africa, the Far East, Canada, the United States and the United Kingdom. In 1907 the Khalsa Dewan Society was established in Vancouver, and four years later the first Gurdwara was established in London. In 1912 the first Gurdwara in the United States was founded in Stockton, California. Since Sikhs like many Middle Eastern men wear turbans and keep beards, some people in Western countries have mistaken Sikh men for Muslim or Arabic and Afghan men since the September 11 attacks and the Iraq War. Several days after the 9-11 attacks Sikh Balbir Singh Sodhi was murdered by Frank Roque, who thought Sodhi was connected with Al-Qaeda. CNN suggested an increase in hate crimes against Sikh men in the United States and the UK after the 9-11 attacks. Since Sikhism has never actively sought converts, the Sikhs have remained a relatively homogeneous ethnic group. The 3HO organization claimed to have inspired a moderate growth in non-Indian adherents of Sikhism. In 1998 an estimated 7,803 HO Sikhs, known colloquially as Gora, Gora or White Sikhs, were mainly centered around Española, New Mexico and Los Angeles, California. Sikhs and the Sikh American Legal Defense and Education Fund overturned a 1925 Oregon law banning the wearing of turbans by teachers and government officials. In an attempt to foster Sikh leaders in the Western world, youth initiatives by a number of organizations exist. The Sikh Youth Alliance of North America sponsors an annual Sikh Youth Symposium, a public speaking and debate competition held in Gurdwaras throughout the U.S. and Canada. There are a number of Sikh office holders in Canada. In the United States, the current U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations and former Governor of South Carolina, Nikki Haley, was born and raised as a Sikh, but converted to Christianity after her marriage. She still actively attends both Sikh and Christian services. Topic. Sikh nationalism and the Khalistan movement The Khalistan movement is a Sikh separatist movement, which seeks to create a separate country called Khalistan, the land of the pure, in the Punjab region of South Asia to serve as a homeland for Sikhs. 
The territorial definition of the proposed country Khalistan consists of both the Punjab, India along with Punjab, Pakistan and includes parts of Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, and Rajasthan. Khalistan movement began as an expatriate venture. In 1971, the first explicit call for Khalistan was made in an advertisement published in the New York Times by an expat Jagjit Singh Chohan. By proclaiming the formation of Khalistan, he was able to collect millions of dollars from the Sikh diaspora. On the 12th of April 1980, he declared the formation of National Council of Khalistan at Anandpur Sahib. He declared himself as the president of the council and Balbir Singh Sandhu as its secretary general. In May 1980, Jagjit Singh Chohan travelled to London and announced the formation of Khalistan. A similar announcement was made by Balbir Singh Sandhu, in Amritsar, who released stamps and currency of Khalistan. The inaction of the authorities in Amritsar and elsewhere was decried by Akali Dal headed by the Sikh leader Harchan Singh Langawal as a political stunt by the Congress I party of Indira Gandhi. With financial and political support of the Sikh diaspora the movement flourished in the Indian state of Punjab, which has a Sikh majority population and reached its zenith in the late 1970s and 1980s when the secessionist movement caused large-scale violence among the local population. Operation Blue Star was an Indian military operation carried out between 1 and 8 June 1984, ordered by Prime Minister Indira Gandhi to remove militant religious leader Jarnail Singh Bindranwale and his armed followers from the buildings of the Harmandir Sahib complex in Amritsar, Punjab. In July 1983, the Sikh political party Akali Dal's President Harchand Singh Langawal had invited Bindranwale to take up residence in Golden Temple complex to evade arrest. Bindranwale later on made the sacred temple complex an armory and headquarters. In the violent events leading up to the Operation Blue Star since the inception of Akali Dharm Yudh Morcha, the militants had killed 165 Hindus and Nirankaris, even 39 Sikhs opposed to Bindranwale were killed. The total number of deaths was 410 in violent incidents and riots while 1,180 people were injured. Casualty figures for the army were 83 dead and 249 injured. According to the official estimate presented by the Indian government, 1592 were apprehended and there were 493 combined militant and civilian casualties. High civilian casualties were attributed to militants using pilgrims trapped inside the temple as human shields, assassination of PM Indira Gandhi and bombing of Air India plane killing 328 passengers happened in that period. Various pro Khalistan outfits have been involved in a separatist movement against the government of India ever since. There are claims of funding from Sikhs outside India to attract young people into these pro Khalistan militant groups. In January 1986, the Golden Temple was occupied by militants belonging to All India Sikh Students Federation and Damdami Taxil. On 26 January 1986, a gathering known as the Sarbat Khalsa a de facto parliament passed a resolution Gurmata, favoring the creation of Khalistan. Subsequently, a number of rebel militant groups in favor of Khalistan waged a major insurgency against the government of India. Indian security forces suppressed the insurgency in the early 1990s, but Sikh political groups such as the Khalsa Raj Party and SAD continued to pursue an independent Khalistan through nonviolent means. Pro-Khalistan organizations such as Dal Khalsa International are also active outside India, supported by a section of the Sikh diaspora. In the 1990s the insurgency petered out, and the movement failed to reach its objective due to multiple reasons including a heavy police crackdown on separatists, divisions among the Sikhs and loss of support from the Sikh population. Art and culture Sikh art and culture are nearly synonymous with that of the Punjab, and Sikhs are easily recognized by their distinctive turban daster. The Punjab has been called India's melting pot, due to the confluence of invading cultures from the rivers from which the region gets its name. Sikh culture is therefore a synthesis of cultures. Sikhism has forged a unique architecture, which S.S. Bhatti described as, "...inspired by Guru Nanak's creative mysticism," and is a mute harbinger of holistic humanism based on pragmatic spirituality." During the Mughal and Afghan persecution of the Sikhs during the 17th and 18th centuries, the latter were concerned with preserving their religion and gave little thought to art and culture. 
With the rise of Ranjit Singh and the Sikh Raj in Lahore and Delhi, there was a change in the landscape of art and culture in the Punjab. Hindus and Sikhs could build decorated shrines without the fear of destruction or looting. The Sikh Confederacy was the catalyst for a uniquely Sikh form of expression, with Ranjit Singh commissioning forts, palaces, bungas, residential places, and colleges in a Sikh style. Sikh architecture is characterized by gilded fluted domes, cupolas, kiosks, stone lanterns, ornate balusters and square roofs. A pinnacle of Sikh style is Harmandir Sahib also known as the Golden Temple in Amritsar. Sikh culture is influenced by militaristic motifs with the Khanda the most obvious, and most Sikh artifacts—except for the relics of the Gurus—have a military theme. This theme is evident in the Sikh festivals of Ola Mohalla and Vaisakhi, which feature marching and displays of valor. Although the art and culture of the Sikh diaspora have merged with that of other Indo-immigrant groups into categories like British Asian, Indo-Canadian, and Desi culture, a minor cultural phenomenon which can be described as political Sikh, has arisen. The art of diaspora Sikhs like Amarjeet Kaur Nandra and Amrit and Rabindra Kaur Singh, the Singh twins is influenced by their Sikhism and current affairs in the Punjab. Bhangra and Gidda are two forms of Punjabi folk dancing which have been adapted and pioneered by Sikhs. Punjabi Sikhs have championed these forms of expression worldwide, resulting in Sikh culture becoming linked to Bhangra although Bhangra is not a Sikh institution but a Punjabi one. Topic. Painting Sikh painting is a direct offshoot of the Kangra school of painting. In 1810, Ranjit Singh (1780–1839) occupied Kangra fort and appointed Sardar Desa Singh Majithia his governor of the Punjab hills. In 1813, the Sikh army occupied Gular state, and Raja Bhup Singh became a vassal of the Sikhs. With the Sikh kingdom of Lahore becoming the paramount power, some of the Pahari painters from Gular migrated to Lahore for the patronage of Maharaja Ranjit Singh and his Sardars. The Sikh school adapted Kangra painting to Sikh needs and ideals. Its main subjects are the ten Sikh gurus and stories from Guru Nanak's Janamsakis. The tenth guru, Gobind Singh, left a deep impression on the followers of the new faith because of his courage and sacrifices. Hunting scenes and portraits are also common in Sikh painting. Topic. See also List of Sikhs List of British Sikhs List of Sikh soldiers Mazabi Sikh Ganga Sagar Urn, Turban Training Center Topic. Footnotes Topic. Bibliography Fair, C. Christine 2005. Diaspora Involvement in Insurgencies, Insights from the Khalistan and Tamil Elam Movements. Nationalism and Ethnic Politics, 11 to 125 minus 156. Doi 10.1080/13 13 quadrillion 537 trillion 110 billion 590 million 927,845. Subscription required. Help. Van Dyke, Virginia, 2009. The Khalistan Movement in Punjab, India, and the Post Militancy Era: Structural Change and New Political Compulsions. Asian Survey, 49 975-997, doi, 10.1525, as.2009.49.6. 975, subscription required, help. References and notes Further reading External links Sikhism at the BBC